Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm yours, Jack, and this is a video edition of Photoshop Elements 11 correcting for lens distortion. Now, lens distortion is just what you see in this picture, and that's just what I'm talking about today, is when we get something very close and we shoot up, sometimes it looks like as this building is looking like it's leaning kind of backwards because the perspective of how we're shooting the picture through our lens, it pushes that building back. And you know why we're doing it. We're doing it so we can get a closer shot of this building. We could have shot it squared and straight and everything, but we would have been further down the road and it would have made the building smaller in perspective to our camera, to our position of where we were. So what we're going to do here today is show you in Photoshop Elements 11 a great tool on how to fix this lens issue uh, and this perspective issue of your photograph. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing as always we want to duplicate our background layer and we'll do that with Control or Command J. With that layer selected all we need to do is we're going to go up to Filter and we're going to go on Correct Camera Distortion. I wish it would really say lens distortion, but camera lens, either one, I understand, and it's the way it works. But So here we have our building, and now we have a nice grid around it. It makes it very, very easy to work on this. And what's happening here is the grid is actually pushing it back, uh, or the, the, the building is leaning back. So that is a vertical, because we can see up, so it's a vertical, because it's up and down. So we're going to change our vertical perspective. What I'm going to do is drag it to the left so I can pull the top of that building out towards us or towards the front of your screen. You can see there how the building is coming out. You leave it go to catch up to itself a little bit. We'll pull it out some more. And we'll leave it go. And yes, you are cropping off some of the top. That is going to be something that's going to happen. But what I can say there is that the building is going to be nice and straight. It's going to look like you have a really nice squared up picture. That's what we're going for. Once you have that done and it looks good, just simply click OK. You can now see this is what we originally had in our building where it was leaning backwards. And this is what we have now. Back and up. So we did lose the top of the building. But as I said, in retrospect, at least the building is now level and it looks like we took it straight on. Now what we're going to do next is we are going to turn this because it looks like it's leaning a little bit to the right. So we'll go to Image, Transform, and I like to use Free Transform. We're just going to turn it just a little bit. And once you get that done, click this little checkbox or hit the Enter key on your keyboard. Just like so. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to use your crop tool and you're going to actually crop this thing out so we get rid of the pixels on the top and on the bottom here and just kind of square it all up and I would try to not go down below the road too much here so we're going to go right about there click OK and now we have that picture squared up everything is good and you can use this for any kind of lens distortion so this is camera correction once again, it is under the filter, camera, or correct camera distortion. Folks, if you enjoyed this video tutorial, and I hope you did, please check out my website, jackstechcorner.com, and pick up one of the training DVDs. There you're going to learn a ton, a ton of edits, and it's going to keep you occupied for hours. So once again, that's jackstechcorner.com. It's right here on the video. Go there today, and it's also in the show notes and pick up a copy of the DVD. I'm sure you'll be very, very happy you did. So until next time, as always, keep those editors editing and keep those shutters clicking. I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.